That lesson is over. Order of operations. The subject is mathematics, the topic is algebra readiness, sixth grade, prior knowledge uh, of math symbols and basic operations uh, are necessary in order to produce the correct answers in the order of operations. My first activity was to have the kids put these sentences in the correct order and they can move the box. I left it on there too long, didn't I? They can move the boxes around or wherever they need it. And I started off with something in the morning like getting up, putting your clothes on, eating breakfast, and because that's something they can relate to, they know what the correct order would be. My next page is just something that I'll go over with them. It says there are many things that have to be done in a certain order, and math is no exception. The order of operations is accepted worldwide without agreement. Simple expressions such as five plus three, three, five plus three times two could have two different answers. Five plus six equals 11 or eight times two equals 16. The order of operations rule in math ensures that everyone obtains the same result, which in this expression is 11. key concepts of the rule of order of operations is to do all operations within parentheses or other grouping brackets first. I left something out. Multiply and divide in order from left to right and subtract in order from left to right. And I left out the exponent part. I'll have to go back and do that one. Um, my next next activity didn't work out right. 